CataractCoach.com. We've got a cataract quiz. How can you prevent the Argentinian flag sign now? You've got a run out rexus and a tear developing. Let me show you this case here. So it's a patient with a very white cataract, a relatively young patient. Look at the eyelashes. Looks pretty young to me. More likely to have an intumescent cataract. So tripan blue dye. We can dilute that down now. Have a nice staining of the anterior lens capsule. And let's see what we get here. Let's fill the anterior chamber with our viscoelastic, getting a nice high pressure in the anterior chamber. And we want to have a high pressure so that we don't have that run out of the rexus. We're going to go into that same side port now with no main incision. Because with just a side port, with a small incision, you can maintain a higher intraocular pressure, higher AC pressure. And then we're going to go in here with the cystotome, poke the central lens capsule right in the center there and see, do we get any egress of fluid? And so hopefully not because the AC pressure is higher than the capsular bag pressure, starting to form the rexus here. Now poking in the center of the nucleus, seeing if we get any rocking of the nucleus. Ooh, the capsule's already starting to rip out a little bit. Now here the surgeon's unable to really start the rexus with the cystotome. So the risk for the runout has been deemed relatively low by the resident who's operating. Incision's gonna be made here. That looks like a pretty good incision. And now this is the forceps are gonna be used to create our rexus. Be efficient here, don't waste time. The longer you're in the eye, the more likely it's gonna run out. So having a tough time grabbing the capsule, grabbing something, there it is. So grabbing the capsule, bringing it around, Good grip, reasonable control, but look at the incision. We lose viscoelastic out of the incision, so the HC is shallowing, and what's going to happen? Look at all that viscoelastic coming out. Now it's going to run out. So the resin's going to try to pull on it, and oh boy, it looks like it's already run out. Now do the little maneuver. Pull it backwards, pull it backwards, pull it backwards. Can you Ah, recovered. That's what you need to do. Now that it's recovered... Let's complete the rexus. Just get it done. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. As long as it's continuous. We don't want to have that weak edge from a run out. So finish it up, even if it's ugly, even if it's irregular. As long as it's continuous, we'll take it. Now quickly, see how it's moving out towards the lens equator again. Bring that back in. Try the little maneuver one more time. Again, this is too much dilly-dallying. Too much inaction. Get something done here. The longer you wait, the higher the risk. And remember, this video is at two times normal speed. Quit adjusting your, your positioning of your hands and your instruments and your scope. Get to it. There you go. Pull it centrally, centrally. And that looks pretty reasonable. And that should be okay. Let me see if we can help this resident. Let's carve this out just a little bit more. Now that's intact and, and it's uh, circular enough, it's continuous. Make a little nick in there, and we can go in here, and let's clean this up and have a little bit better access. There you go. Now you can continue the case. So remember, be very careful. Don't let it run out. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. Sign up for a free daily email. I'll send you some great stuff every single day. Costs you nothing. You'll learn a lot. Five minutes a day times a year is a whole lot of learning.